Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to run Llama 2 model on free version of Google Colab. Llama 2 has been released by Meta AI. Llama 2 is an open source large language model. The original version of Llama 2 was only available for research use, but Llama 2 is available for research as well as for commercial use as well. Llama 2 comes with pre-trained and fine-tuned generative text models. Llama 2 includes three different models ranging from 7 to 70 billion parameters. Llama 2 outperforms many open source models on most benchmark data set. So this is a short intro about Llama 2 model. Let's move towards the Google Colab part over here. So to implement Llama 2 in Google Colab, I'll be using Llama CPP library to run the Llama 2 model. So we will use the quantized model, but we can also pointize the model using the Llama CPP library as well. But in this tutorial, I'll be using the quantized Llama 2 model. So as I told you that we can also pointize the model, but it will always better to use the pre-quantized model. Okay, so the Hugging Face community provides Llama to quantize model. So if you just click over here, it will redirect you to the Llama 2 model with 7 billion parameters. Along with this on the Hugging Face community, you can see the number to model with 7 billion parameters. And the Llama 2 model with 70 billion parameters is also available as well. So in this project, I will be using the quantized model of Llama 2 which is available on Hugging Face community. So if you want to just check out this model, so you can just click over here. It will redirect me to the quantized Llama 2 model which is available over here. And I will be using this model. In this tutorial here are a lot of quantized models of llama 2 available on hugging face but i'll be using the quantized model in the ggml format but there are other quantized models available as well you can just check that there are different quantized models over here available so you can also see them and these are by different authors as well so but in this tutorial, I will be using this quantized model Llama 2, 7 billion parameters in the GGML format. So why we are using quantized Llama 2 model? So there are few advantages using quantized model. We can easily run the Llama 2 quantized model on Google Colab as well as on our local system plus quantized model optimizes the resource usage by reducing the precision so this is the reason that we are using the quantized model but if i use the original llama 2 model as i show you over here so i cannot run the original llama 2 model over here in my free version of google collab and even paid version of the google collab I cannot run the Llama 2 model, but if you are using the quantized model, you can easily run it onto the free version of Google Colab over here as well. So first of all, we need to install the Llama CPP Python package along. I will install this package along with this. I'm installing the Hugging Face uh, package so that I can download the Llama to quantize model from hugging face into this google collab notebook so let's download this package before running the script please make sure that you have selected the runtime as gpu so in the first step i'm installing these packages i have installed the llama cpp python package because we are implementing llama 2 in google collab using llama cpp python package along with this to download the model from hugging face into this google collab notebook i require the hugging face hub package as well as so now i will be just to go over here and 
just I need to copy the model name from here so I will just click on copy from here and you just need to add this model name over here you just need to go below down and select a model base name so here you can see that different models are provided with different quantization methods so in this project I'll be using this model with Q50 quantization so you can just copy this from here and you can just add this over here as well okay and now we will import all required libraries so i will just require a hub prompt to download the model from hugging face i will just import this library and along with as we are implementing llama 2 using llama cpp library so I will just import llama package from llama cb so now i will just download the model from hugging face hub and here i will just pass the model name over here okay and here i will just pass the model base name by just copy this from here and just add the model base name over here so i will be downloading the llama 2 with 7 billion parameters of quantized model from hugging face into this google collab notebook which i am downloading this model from hugging face into this google collab notebook so here i am just loading the model so here you can see that i have my variable model path i have this initialized model i downloaded the model so i have just passed the model path over here and here i have initialized the batch and basically here we can also have parameter so batch value will be between the one and the context size so the context size being basically means how much input character you can pass to add the input of the llama model so how much text characters like how many english characters you can pass and the input of the llama 2 model or how much english character it can accept at the input so this context defined you can just select this value around 2048 r between 0 to 2048 so you can just vary this value so here the batch size would be between this context size value is 620 and here i have just defined the gpu layers over here and here i have just find the cpu cores so i have just initialized this model with none so if you are using cpu so this very process will take some time but here i'm just using gpu so it's doing rapidly say i'm just loading the model so you can also see the number of layers of gpu over here as well as so now i will just create a prompt template basically whenever the user pass the input to the large language model we do not pass the user input directly to the large language model we pass the user input into a prompt template and then pass this user input to the large language model so please remember we do not pass the input user we do not pass the user input directly to the large language model we pass the user input to our prompt template and then we pass that template to the large language model so here the user has asked the llama 2 model write a linear regression in python okay so it has asked that write a linear regression function in python okay so i will not pass this user input directly to the large language model i will just pass this this input to this prompt template so this input will be passed over here okay so this here this input will be added over in this prompt template while this prompt template this input will be will be sent to the large language model i will not send this input to the large language model i will just add this input into this prompt template over here and, and i will just send this input to the large language model and the input will be sent into the large language model is system you are a helpful respectful and 
connect assistant always answer as hopefully and here i will just pass the user input and here in the assistant i will get the output from the large language models okay so now i'm just passing the prompt template define the maximum token so if you are using cpu you can just decrease some tech token size and here just set the temperature value temperature value basically represent how much creative my model would be some pressure value is between 0 to 1 so if the temperature value is 0 it means the model will not be taking any bets or risks and it will be very deterministic but if temperature value is 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 people can say that the model will take risk it can generate a wrong output but it will be very creative but if you are set if you set a very low value of temperature basically the temperature value is between 0 to 1 so if the temperature value is 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 it means the model is not very quickly creative it is deterministic and it is not taking any risk but if the temperature value is 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 it means the model is taking risk and it is very creative so i'm just executing and here i've just passed a prompt template and here i'm executing the large language model so here we are executing the llama 2 model 7 billion parameters and in ggml format so i am just passing this prompt template as an input to the large language model so this prompt template is passed as an input to the large language model or you can say that this prompt trait is passed as an input to the llama 2 model with 7 billion parameters and it will generate the output for me and if i just print the response response text over here so you can see that this is passed as an input so this is our prompt template so this prompt template is passed as an input to the llama 2 model with 7 billion parameters so you can see that you are a helpful respectful and honest assistant always answer as helpfully write a linear regression in python so this is the input which i have passed so this input is being added to the prompt template over here and this prompt template is passed llama 2 model with 7 billion parameters okay so here write a linear regression in python and here it is my llama 2 assistant which is answering to write the linear regression in python you can use cyclic library and here is an example of how to do it so here you can see that it has provided me a complete port of linear regression with an example of x and y y values ranging from 0 to 500 and here you can testify complete it it has your second line library to write the linear regression board so if you just ask it to write linear regression port from spatch it can also do this and here it has written the complete code so in this tutorial i have shown you how you can run llama 2 model in google colab so i hope you have learned something in this video and please do like and subscribe the channel as well